Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be making this adorable suitcase and I've used Knitwit Collection's new um, collection called Journey and it's absolutely perfect, uh, the colours are absolutely perfect for uh, City Breaks. So it's a digital collection, so you, you download the, um, there's five collections and you can um, download them and print them out any size you want as many times as you like, so it's really, really cost effective. So I'll be showing you how to make this suitcase today and inside I have three mini albums which I'll also be showing you how to make. So I have three here. So these colours in the collection are absolutely perfect for um, city breaks. So the colours will work really beautifully with um, streets and the backdrops and the roads and the buildings and everything. So it's absolutely perfect. So inside here, I just added some more of the embellishments. I had a few leftovers from the albums. So move that aside. So it also comes with um, loads of notes and things that you can write your um, journal notes and information on as well, flight information, dates and places that you've seen. I just love this little tag here, it's really cute. So these albums here are made from one sheet of A4 piece of paper each and it's, it's one of those one sheet albums so they're all over YouTube at the moment. They've been going around for years and you can also make these out of a 12 by 12 but I've used a, um, an A4 because it was just easier for me to print out. Okay, so you end up with four pages and I've turned them into pockets. So this would be the first page. Just quickly flick through and um, on one of the side pages here we also have some pullouts as well. So that's the Vatican the Pope's over there somewhere. So these photos are from when I went to Italy back in 1997, so a very long time ago. So this is the Colosseum here. So as you can see the floor has fallen through and under here are all the, um, the rooms where they kept the gladiators and the animals all locked up, ready for their fight. So there's another one, so this would have been the main corridor that they would have taken on their way up to the arena. So this is the Pantheon here. And I just love this. This is one of my favorites out of the whole collection. I just love these postcards. I just love anything like this. Let's pop that back in there. So I've used the thumbnails, uh, thumb holes as well, just with a circle punch. That's a one inch. There's just so many elements here. So this is one cluster that you can uh, print off as one. So I've created that into a little pocket. There's the Vatican there. From further away. So I just love all this. And I'll just quickly show you this one. This is Pompeii. I haven't finished adding my journaling yet. So, so this is the smaller amphitheatre. There's a mill there. And a big stepping stone so yeah it was really fun this this little holiday was really fun so the last one and then I will get on with the tutorial I promise so this is Mount Vesuvius so I've made my own cluster here so many um cut aparts and I can glue the page no I didn't glue it together and that's good so we have some other journaling cards as well and I just love these um, tags. I can't remember what they're called, but they kind of just hold your photos in place. This, these are stuck on more for decorative use, really. And this is uh, Mount Vesuvius. We climbed to the top and it was freezing up there. It was absolutely freezing. So there's, um, that's actually cloud. We were up that high. So it is a very, very high volcano. Right, so let's get on with the tutorial. So you're going to need to print out a piece of paper from the collection. This is one of my favourites as well. I always just do my favourites. So this is A4 size. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half. So we don't even have to use our scoreboard for this. We'll be needing to use our scoreboard for the, um, the suitcase. But that's just really straightforward. So we're going to fold it in half first. And then we're going to fold it again the other way. You can watch this as many times as you want. I'm going to try not to go too fast for you. Okay, so now we've done that, we can then take this side 
and fold it up to the center fold I'm using my bone folder as well just to get everything super flat and then we're going to do it again here on the other side there we go and then what we're going to do is grab a ruler Maybe if I turn this around grab a ruler I'm going to grab my pen as well just to show you we're going to make a mark here and a mark there so these are the intersections from these two lines I'm going to grab a craft knife as well and we're going to cut along this line here along the center just from each dot there we go super easy so far so fold it up again so I'm going to try and go slowly so you guys can see what I'm going to do so I'm going to get these out just like so the side pieces out so we're going to make a sort of a star shape then we're going to turn it and then press down Just try your best to line everything up and then press that down just like that. Okay, so now we have that. So now what we're going to do is get all of our folds pressed down. So we have our pages that move around and then you need to decide what's going to be your front page and your back page. So you just get everything pressed down. So I'm going to turn it so that all of the openings are at the top. So every single opening here we have at the top. So we can turn this one into a top page. And then this one can be sealed here to make a pocket. And then this one can be an, a top pocket. And then we have a side pocket there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it out again. So it looks like this. And then I'm going to grab some double-sided tape. You can use glue as well for this. I'm just going to use a really thin, I think this is about an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to use it along this line here, just to close this pocket here. nail varnish is coming off on the paper but luckily it's coming off on the inside so we can seal that there we go and now our next one is going to go along this line so this line up to the top here so I think we can seal this all the way across so it's been a few days since I made my other albums so I'm just trying to remember how I did it and let's press that down and then we have a pocket this side pocket at the top, pocket this side and the second page and then we just need to seal this one at the bottom. I'm just going to use glue for that. Just a thin line across the bottom and I'm using Carlisle. Press that down. And there we have the inside of our booklet. So let's get the bone folder out again and press that down. And there we go. So let's make the cover. So I have a red piece of thin cardstock here and it measures six and one eighth by four and one eighth. 
grab a scoreboard and I'm going to score at three and three and one eighth. Let's burnish those lines down. book make sure you have it the right way round because you don't want your pockets on the bottom yep so it that way round and open it to the middle and now grab some um twine i'm just using some cheap garden twine that i get from this is from wilkinson's and um, which is a hardware store if you don't know who wilco is and yeah the best time to buy this is actually when it goes out of season so in the autumn this goes down to about 25 pence a roll so it's really really cheap to just to stock up then but it doesn't actually make it to my garden it stays in my craft room and I use it for well, crafting really and things like this so these are absolutely perfect for adding the rustic look to your projects so I'm just going to tie a knot here and trim that off now I have two other pieces from the collection here. I've just uh, printed those out and I'm going to stick these on here. So these measure two and seven eighths by four. And they're going to stick on just like that. And then I can print some more stuff out. So there should be enough room in my, um, my suitcase box here for four albums. And I haven't finished printing off all of my Italy photos. So... There's still a few more I need to add. There we go. And you can probably put another two on the inside as well. I did that on one of my albums. And on the other albums, I just added embellishments. And I've also kept all of the embellishment embellishing flat because I've, I've only used the collection inside here so everything is flat because it's a one page album one paper piece of paper album I'm just going to keep everything as flat as possible so the only thing that's going to bulk this out is just the, um, the extra photos that I'm going to add and the papers from the embellishments so that's our album done you can make a whole bunch of these at the same time so let's get on to moving um, on with the suitcase so you're going to need some craft cardstock for this and as you can see they're staggering in length they're very very similar in measurements so the smaller one measures six by seven and a half this will be the base now the lid is the slightly larger one so this has got one sixteenth of an inch added to these measurements here so along here it measures six and one sixteenth of an inch and down here it measures seven and nine sixteenths of an inch so as i said don't worry about writing anything down there's a project page for this and I think it's one and a half. I didn't write it down. Oh, well, I did write it down. It's one and a half on all four sides on both of them. So just got one and a half all the way around. On the other one as well. I've mixed them up now, so. It will all come together at the end when we put them together. Okay, so now we need to burnish our lines. So if you've never made a box before, this is how you just do a normal box. Another thing I forgot to add is in each collection from Knitwits, they do have an alphabet set as well. So you can print those up and uh, cut those out. So I'm going to print the word Italy along here and in quite small letters and stick them on there. 
just so I know which ones just in case you know people start to look at my album because I will be leaving it out for people to look at so we're just going to um snip up here and then taper in one end if you're wondering why I do this instead of just leaving it straight is because when this goes up like that I get a really good corner I don't want anything overhanging over the top here so let's do that to all of the corners going to pull downwards if you pull upwards you'll tear it across there and it won't look very nice whoops sorry guys okay so that's that one done do the same for this one now grab some double-sided tape you can use glue as well I'm just going to use some half inch tape for this I'm add it quite close to the score line there and I'm also going to use my paper mania acrylic block for stamping it's got sharp edges or straight edges here so it's absolutely perfect for cutting the tape so I don't have to keep putting the tape down to grab my scissors. actually Let's stick it to my fingers okay so bone folder again press down all of your tape this will help the backing to come off really easily and it also makes sure that it will stick to your project properly so take all of the um, backing papers off that together there we go quick and easy there we go okay so I think that's going to be our lid so do the same for this one I'm going to set that aside so we're going to decorate our lid now going to start off with some sponging we're going to add some ink now just to distress it and make it look I'll just bring this over here we're going to start off with vintage photo some distress oxide inks I don't actually have any of the other inks I do need to add some distress inks just the normal ones to my collection so I'm just going to use the square one or the rectangle one I'm just going to go along the edges just like so just distressing each edge and corner the front's going to be covered up so you get all of the edges okay so we're moving over now to walnut stain Just going over each edge now, just to darken that slightly. This is going to be a lovely vintage looking suitcase. No marmalade sandwiches in sight. Okay, so now we're going to add the circles on here. So I have three already prepared and I've used the walnut stain again on these. So let's show you how to make that. So you need a one inch circle punch and you need to circle, you need a one inch circle, you need four of those. So add this to our scoreboard and we're going to score at half an inch. I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to match up this line here with this here so I know it's straight. We don't want any wonky 
lines and then we're going to score again at half an inch. So I'm going to fold that in half and then in half again. Take your scissors. I'm going to score up, uh, snip up one of the score lines just like that. And I'm going to add some glue. If you have fast drying glue, that would be even better because then you won't be standing there for a few minutes holding that to dry. So then you fold that in and then you just press it just like that. So I'm going to leave that a few minutes to dry and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's more or less dried. Now it's still it's still wet, but it will hold together now. So going back to the walnut stain again. Try and saturate it as much as possible to get this a lot darker than the sponging that we did on the edges here, just so that it looks like it's different. We want, we want it to stand out. Okay, so I've got four of those now. Let's move all those aside. Grab the glue again, and we're going to stick these on all of the corners. Hmm, there's a funny bang there. I think that was uh, next door's back door. lovely vintage suitcase is coming together okay we'll set that aside to dry so moving on to the handle and the walnut stain again just going to distress the edges in the middle a little bit as well just to blend it in everyone's going to know I've been crafting again today I've got ink all over myself scoreboard again so this piece measures just over half an inch let's get an exact measurement here so it's three and a half this is one of my off cuts so it's three and a half by three quarters of an inch so we're going to score at half an inch on both sides so that's half an inch here and at three inches or you could just turn it over and just do half an inch again add some tape to the underside of each one there we go press that down this is going to be our handle I'm just going to fold these up just like so. And that's going to be our handle just like that. So let's get the backing off. I'm just going to do it on one first. And then I'm going to stick the other one down. So get the top of your suitcase. Kind of bend it up like that. So that you kind of get, a, get an idea of where it's going to go. And then press the first one down. And then you can take the backing off the other one. Now push that up again. And then press that down. And then we have our suitcase. So I'm just going to assemble the base and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done my base here now. So let's pop that together. One other thing I did do is I've added a half circle with a one inch punch on either side that's optional let's put that let's put the um, albums in so I did actually forget to mention these also have loads of clusters in here already made and I've made some tuck points with these lovely little tags let's pop those in lovely ones there too 
and with this one there was a frame so I stuck a photo behind it absolutely tiny photographs let's pop that on there it does fit on I've tested it there we go side on there so now I have myself two little dinky suitcases and have volume one and volume two because I do have some more photos to print off from that holiday so I have actually started working on another project using the same collection for another holiday so this one is one of those everlasting never never ending twist and pop albums so it opens up like this and opens up like that I've done similar ones um on other tutorials so it opens up like that and you just keep going round and it just keeps going the kids absolutely love this one as well so if you want a tutorial for this one let me know down in the comments below and then I'll get that done for you so do you love this collection let me know also down in the comments I'd love to know what you think of today's project and if you'd like to make it yourself so there'll be a link down below that will take you straight to this project page for the suitcase and the mini albums with the cutting guide and this video will also be embedded on there so everything is in the same place for you and you'll also find links on both places here in the description box and on my website for this um, journey collection as well I really hope that you go along and you download this one um, it's just absolute great value for money if you get the whole collection you get I think it's 20% off if you buy it all as a bundle and yet yeah, this collection will take you through most holidays so thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time